Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 7.3.2.3 titled Configuring RIP NG. To begin, we'll want to open our Packet Tracer Activity and have our addressing table readily available. I'm going to go ahead and do a reset on this just to make sure everything's cleared out and it's back to the original state where it needs to be configured. Alright, uh, a little bit of background. RIPNG uh, stands for RIP Next Generation. It's a distance vector routing protocol for IPv6 addressing. Um, it's based on RIPv2 and has the same administrative distance and 15 hop limitation. And to begin this activity, we're going to start configuring router 1 for RIPNG. And to begin, we need to get into the global configuration mode and enable IPv6 first. So we get that set. And then we're going to enable RIP NG. Where I have Cisco here, and I have it in all caps. Um, the naming for this can actually be just about anything. Um, I'm specifically doing uh, Cisco all caps as part of the instructions request that that's what I use for this. So for that completion rate to be 100%, I have to use Cisco all caps. Just keep in mind that in the industry, you may be using something completely different from that. Don't get too caught up on it. Alright, and then our next step is to enable RIPNG for all of the interfaces directly connected on R1. So we have Gigabit Ethernet 00, and Serial Interface 000. Alright, we'll do these one at a time. So in interface Gigabit Ethernet 00, we give the IPv6 RIP Cisco enable command. And then we jump over to Serial 000 and do the same thing. And then we want to save our configuration. and then repeat on router 2 and router 3. So we'll hop in, get to global configuration mode, give it the IPv6 unicast routing, and IPv6 router rip Cisco, and then the interfaces. like so. Um, on router 1, we only had the two interfaces. On router 2, we should have an additional, because we have two serial interfaces, and one LAN. So we'll go ahead and jump over to S001, and do the same thing for our third interface here. copy run start and save that configuration and then we'll do the same thing on router 3 IPv6 unicast routing IPv6 router Cisco yeah. router rip Cisco there we go and then jump into our interfaces we can verify Gigabit Ethernet 00 and Serial 001. RIP Cisco enable. PV6 RIP Cisco enable. 
do a copy run start and save the configuration. Our next step is to view the routing tables. The instructions recommend doing it across all three routers. I'm only going to do it on router 1 to show you how to view these. There's the command you'll use, show IPv6 route. And it even shows you what the codes stand for at the top, so you have a little bit of a legend up top there. And we can see the directly connected and ones that have been received dynamically or local and we see that it's all IPv6 which is exactly what we wanted as we're using RIP NG and then we will verify that the appropriate interfaces are using RIP NG and the command for that we are going to use show IPv6 protocols and we have gigabit ethernet 00, zero and serial 000, zero zero, which is what we configured for router 1. Router 2 you'll have both serial interfaces router 3 should look fairly similar to router 1, only having two interfaces And then we want to view the running configuration. And we want to come down to our gigabit ethernet interface. So that way we can see that we have IPv6 addressing and RIP NG enabled. So you can do the same thing on router 2 and router 3, just to verify. And at this point, we should be able to have full communication across the network. Completion should be at 100%. You can always hit check results if you're not at 100%, just to come in and check and see what is missing. I'm just going to go ahead and do a verification by pinging across the network with the simple PDU. It's a pretty handy built-in tool. And we see that we can ping across all the way from PC to PC. And it looks like that pretty much covers everything for this packet tracer activity. So I'm going to end here, and I'll see you in my next video.